and uh, my begin camera. Okay, perfect. Everything's fine. Okay, so first match of today, it is going to be none other than Fujishiro versus Menhera GG. Let's see how this pans out. And of course, Menhera GG rocking none other than the big boy himself. Go Lewis versus Fujishiro Ino. So first time to actually uh, see both of them, if I'm correct. Wow, we have so many uh, chat messages. Yo, yoroshiku onegaishimasu, Fujishiro-san. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. あ、ジェビーさんもよろしくお願いします。強い人に挑戦した。え、えっと、死に来ましたっけ頑張ってください。ま、いつも通り頑張ってて、えっと、いい結果を、えっと、残していただけますよ。よろしくお願いします。Y
just for the uh, story, I recently upgraded. I already said it earlier, but for newcomers, I upgraded my uh, my uh, setup recently, and it makes it so that uh, I'm not used to you know uh, this different setup. Like I have a vertical uh, screen right now, so it's a little bit a little bit less easier for me to keep track of you know uh, chat and uh, whatnot. But I'll, I'll try to do my best, and especially brackets, yeah. But but no, it, it should be fine. I'll get used to it. Anyways, here we go with the pressure from Fujishu. You know, trying to go for the uh, Ajito, but nope. Man, Hela was aware of it. Swang at the perfect moment. Ooh, what was that from Fujishiro? I tried. I think he tried to go for a uh, a command dash, but not the command dash, but the oh, the yeah. Oh Lord. Here we go with the Wild Assault, and Manhela, man, trying to close the gap. I can see the frustration in Manhela right now. But yeah, man, Fujisho just staying so freaking mobile. But wait, wait, here we go. Finally, Manhela putting one on the board. Not going down without a fight. Finally puts one on the board, two to one. And he still has um, a little bit of way to go, you know, before, uh, before making the... Before winning it all, but it's definitely not impossible. Oh, almost got the bait on the burst, but Fujishiro knew it. He just held it, did not commit to it. That was really good. Well, committed to not uh, bursting, that is. And, ooh, the big coffin right in your face. Manhela just one more hit and gets the kill. Catches the bag dash using the wild assault. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. We're going to jump in. Oh, big... Big over HS jumping H. And here we go with the wall break. Very nice grab right there from Fujishiro. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the ooh! The stroke! The stroke! Why don't we have any music, yo? What the hell? Anyway. Okay, here we go. We have a I'm sorry. <laughs> my I don't know, my music player went a little bit crazy right now, but it's it's fine. We're back in we're back in business now. Anyways, here we go with the jump in. And wow man, Hela finding the opening right there. Tries to go for the cross up a little bit. Yeah. He had the good idea, but ooh man, right the minigun. No, you're not giving me any notes, and here we go with Fujishiro. Rocking the Fortissimo right now does not Ooh! Gets the bait on the burst, goes for the optimization combo, and the WA Wild Assault extension station and gets the kill. 3-2-1. Very good to go. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. I hope I don't have any uh, lag, you guys. Like, you know, uh, I mean, um, how do you call it? Stream-wise or whatnot, like camera-wise. I did change recently, like, uh, as I said, for the thousands of times, I'm sorry. But I changed, like, my computer, my literal computer. So, I hope there's no, like, artifacts or, like, you know, lag or whatnot, or, you know. If you find anything, just let me know. But I think it's okay, because I'm monitoring it on my tablet right now. It seems like it's okay. We don't have, like, a lag or anything. I hope so. Anyways, it being said, up to the next battle. Achan versus I'm Help. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we're good. good. I need to do something about this. Game. One second, guys, eh? Yeah, one quick second, guys. Sorry. Hmm. Okay, we should do. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be, I guess. And here we go with I'm Help taking the first round. Very, very uh, convincingly, actually. Now you can see that Akshan is uh, struggling just a tiny bit, but it's still okay. Very strong, as I said. Extremely strong Bedman player. Would not surprise me if he actually made the comeback. It's only the first round, also, so the first match. Though. And here we go, the big 6P counter hit. I'm Help going straight 44 Tissima. Once that hard knockdown, what is gonna be the mix? Ooh, wow, uh, yep, wasn't expected the back dash and Achan takes this opportunity to take back the lead. Of course, I'm, I'm helped to pop the yellow Roman cancel. I'm helped making his way out of the corner using the dive, and here we go with... Oh, the Eno pressure! 
Wasn't expecting the uh, yellow Roman cancel either. Then here you go with the mixes. Look at that freaking cross up, man. Goes for the explosion. Ooh, okay, he's got on. Um, yep. Oh, bait the freaking burst and Achan taking it back with the OTG. Very nicely done. Good stuff from uh, Achan. Brings it back. Ooh, uh, start of the round straight with the wild assault. Goes for the safe jump, and here we go. You're in Blockland, really trying to bait. I'm held to press a tech button right there. Ah, Lord, look the plus plus frames everywhere. Where, what can you do? How do you get out of this? Ah, Chan going completely ham. Ooh, gets hit with the six speed though. And I'm helped with the double H stroke. Oh no, Shuri! Wow, he's got the extension station. Even though the Agitado whiffed. He still had the awareness to know that he could juggle with the close S. That was straight. That was sick from my help. That being said, here we go with Achan pressing some buttons on Wake Up. Once that, he definitely wanted that yellow Roman cancel. Gets the counter hit. Forcing I'm help to pop the burst. What's gonna be the next move? Oh! Here we go with the install. Achan. Achan. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, the burst, though. I'm help noticing that Acha was gonna go for the burst in the end. Manages to get the kill. That was crazy good. Good stuff from I'm help. Ah, man. But still, 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 bed man, man. Achan with the comeback, man. It was really, really sick. Good stuff. Anyways, here we go with Achan straight with the. Oh, Lord. The corner pressure forcing I'm help to pop the burst. Woo! Big wild assault right there. Counter it, nevertheless. Here we go with Achan breaking the wall with the 2HS. Oh, again with the start of the round, WAO. How are you doing, Akemi? Ça va bien? Tu vas bien, gros? And here we go with the wall break. Good stuff from Achan with the perfect using Bedman, nevertheless. Out of all the characters from the freaking cast, man, it's Bedman, dude, cooking right now. Cooking in bed, if I might say that was horrible, but I don't care. And here we go with the pressure. Good lord, I'm held not afraid to press buttons right there, man. Ooh, that forest counter hit. Gets six speed, gets bursted upon. I'm held with the air to air. Once I shot underground, right where you know excels the best and can force some uh can force mixes on you. And here we go the oh the knockdown. Ah uh, Chan man! Ah Chan pressing buttons and I'm held this time around was ready to punish it. Should get the kill with the wall break and does. Good stuff from I'm help taking the lead, yo. Viens juste de passer à mid. Oh, bah ça, pour ça. Bah vas-y, uh, deviens une légende, gros. <laughs> and here we go with the zoning. I'm help. Ah, uh, getting hit with the two HS, though. Ooh! Got the palm on top of his hand, and again with the wall break using the palm. Look at the damage. That was actually pretty decent damage. Wow. Start of the round with the agitado. I'm help baited that. Baited that beautifully. I'm help going to look for wow optimal combos right there. Goes for the wall break. And what's the mix? Ah, he's gonna go for it. yeah the fuzzy. That was a fuzzy. Ah, wait, wait. Ooh. I'm help not noticing that Achan had enough bars. Yeah. Here we go with the zoning. What are you gonna do? I'm Achan only needs one hit and gets it by the Fireball, very nicely done. Achan putting one on the board, one match apiece. Finally! Il aurait said c'est en février, je crois, avec les fêtes qui approchent. Je pense pas que j'aurai le temps. Ah, ça marche, ça marche. Oh, c'est pas grave. Faut essayer, hein. Essaye donc, on sait jamais. Mais pas mal, ouais. 1631, c'est carrément bon. Here we go with the palm. I'm help, man. Ooh, gets hit by the fire chest. Unfortunately, for Achan, he wasn't able to continue it. Does get the grab, though. Wow, look at that, man. All of these frames. These positive frames and they're all for me. Achan does not share. Look at that, man. Look at the pressure. There's only so many mixes that you can block one after the other. And Achan taking it with a perfect that statement, though. Man. Good lord. Here we go with the. Ooh, the quarter pressure. Wow. Achan running a train right now. Look at that. Big wall break right there from Achan. Having a really sizable lead, start of the round again with the Wild Assault. Is he gonna get the juggle? No, not too far, but still fun. Look at that. Boom! Yep, you have to hold it. Even if you hit them. Oh, Lord! Uh, the install is over? Yeah, it's over. 
It's so quick to 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 finish though the install of Bedman, I feel. And here we go, the kill with a double perfect! Holy freaking lord! Achan man! Achan! The win with the double perfect! If that wasn't a statement, I don't know how to call it, man. That was sick! Good stuff, the double counter, man. Woo! Ah, oh, nice use of the note right there from uh, from I'm help trying to keep Achan on the corner, but man, once Achan has you in the corner, it feels like there's nothing you can do, man. Boom! Yeah, after all the explosions, so many explosions, so much stuff on the screen. And here we go with the safe jump. Achan with the explosion goes for the comp. Oh lord, here we go the grab, and this is gonna be it. One more chance for I'm help to bring it back, but Achan seems looking very, very solid right now. I'm really not gonna lie. Here we go with the double, the double hover. I'm not should get the wall break as he does. Goes for the wild assault too to secure a hard knockdown. Ah, Lord, Achan with the bag dash right after the first hit block, man. Ooh, nope, you won't jump on me, sir. Ah, Agitator has been planted. I'm help going for the ah, Lord. The freaking defense of Achan is outworldly. Good Lord. Man, you can feel this, the not the desperation, but the frustration of I'm Help right now. But still manages to get the kill with the Agitado combo. Okay, he saved this match point. Let's see if he can do, do it a second time. Eventually putting one on the board for... Ah, yeah, but things are looking pretty dire, not gonna lie. I'm Help does have a burst, though. Oh, Lord! Oh, no, this was an unfortunate 6P. And Achan going with the wall break, man. The wall break using the wall assault, guaranteeing him a hard knockdown. Goes for the low, goes for the reset, the, the, the reset, the, 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 the extension, and gets the kill with the overdrive. Achan sending I'm help yet again with another. So still have versus L. Who is going to come out on top? We shall see. So yeah, as I have said, man, Stella, Zell, both very strong players. I have no idea who's going to come out on top. And uh, don't be fooled by the low uh, level of Zell. Well, the low level as in the level that he had. He was like level 1,300 with his uh, Potemkin. But let me tell you that this dude grinds a lot in arcades. He's an arcade addict. He doesn't really play online. And uh, he's more of an, yeah, an arcade player. So let's see how this pans out. Very nice 2D counter hit right there. Forcing Stella to pop the burst. Zell, ooh, tried to go for the command grab. But man, Stella was ready. Went for the back dash. And the extension of the Kabari. Very nice, ah, uh, very nice combo right there from Stella. Gets the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, mm. uh, Zell getting the hit. Ooh, goes for the fake Garuda impact into the. Oh lord, what the hell? That was so sick. Is he gonna get the kill? He does with the OTG. That was sick. Good lord, making it seem as though he was gonna hit her with the uh, the hammer fall. And then immediately Roman cancelling and getting the command grab for the kill. This is Zell. This is the power of pot. And let me tell you, dude, we have a lot of very good pots today. We have Zell. And we also have FAB, the freaking pot god. Very nice back dash right there. Unfortunately, a little bit too late to get the hit with the uh, Potemkin Buster. Still uh, using uh, the... Um, how do you call it? The uh, Yozon Sen. Uh, and, immediate, and effectively not getting hit by the, uh, the Potemkin Buster. Uh, in the equation, <laughs> Lord. Start the round with the Ozon Sandman, not afraid. Let's see how this spins out. Back in neutral. Zell trying to, yeah, get in. Let's see how this spins. Wow, that forest counter hit though. And still uh, getting the uh, first hit. Probably wanted to go for Ozon Sandman, I guess. But in the end, it worked out for them. They even got the side switch. What the hell was that? That was sick. And this should do, yeah. Close HS for the kill. Very nicely done. Lino Asan, photo seat, and Akiri Atodaimasu. And here we go with Stella taking the first match 1 to 0. Let's see if Zell can uh, bring some sort of uh, you know change in the equation and in, in his strategy to see if he can bring it back, but we shall see. Yeah, hopefully, nobody contacted me. I think it's the case. Yeah. No news, good news. This is good. Big Tatami guys right there. Wow, Stella with the conversion station. How did he freaking get this? Wow, big counter hit though. Ah, yep, Zilla forcing Stella to pop the burst. Wow, big close his counter hit. Goes for the Garuda extension station. This is going to do a lot of damage. Good lord. What's going to be the start of the round? Big hammer hole with the Roman cancel for the extension. Zell takes the first round of this second match. 
Let's see if he can get a second one as well so he can have the tie. <laughs> oh, no, too far to get the Garuda, though. You hate to see it. No, anti air right there. Stella with the optimization station in the corner, though. Good lord! Good lord! Oh, my lord! Mon dieu, mais Akemi, mais qu'est-ce que tu fais? Vous êtes fou, monsieur, vous êtes fou! Mon dieu! Akemi, tu déchires! Akemi with not only the subscription, but also the five gifted sub, yo! Much appreciated! Merci beaucoup, Akemi, tu déchires! And right at the same moment, Zell even managed to get. Uh, to get, to get. Ah, je vais bien manger, gros! Thank you! That's an awesome uh, Christmas gift, Akemi. C'est un très, très. C'est un chic cadeau de Noël, mec, ça fait très plaisir. Thank you very much, Takemi. Much appreciated, bro. Merci beaucoup, gros. And Zell managed to put one match on the board as well. Goes for the Potemkin Buster. Good lord. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Ooh, big jump in though. From Stella. Stella, his life handing by a threat eventually gets shipped, unfortunately for him. And here we go with the second route from for this third match. Let's see how this pans out. Big slider head. Ah, and Cell waking up with, with freaking moves, man. Not afraid. Here we go with the delayed Yozan Sen. Gets the Kabari. Should be able to get... Oh, yeah. Extinction Station forcing himself to pop the burst. Double slider head. Again with the slider head. Big 6 p right there from Zell. Nice reaction station. And here we go with Yammer Fall. Wants to get... Oh, he goes again with the RC, man. RC straight into the pot bus. And here we go, yeah. Yeah, there's only so many hits you can block. Good stuff from Zell, man. Takes the second. What? Takes the lead, yo. Still on the verge of getting e eliminated. Not eliminated. We sent in the loser's bracket, bro. Good lord. Big wake up golden burst right there from Zell. From, uh, from Stella. Again gets the freaking 6 p Yo, surprise, Hakuman chan. How are you doing, bro? Welcome. How are you doing, man? with the slider head looking forward to seeing you i hope you're gonna be there for the bonen kai uh the farewell party at tgi friday man i'm really looking forward to it big counter hit right there with the garuda man not enough to kill though and again still uh, waking up with freaking moves goes for the double use on shien use on soon oh good lord that freaking block the cross up use on set for some reason zell was able to block it i have no idea how he managed to do it i'm doing perfectly fine man much appreciated here we go with the slider head. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Stella trying to get the grab, though. Ooh, too far for anything. Nice punish right there from Stella. Ah, forcing Zell to pop the burst. Ooh, the big... Oh, yeah, you can see Zell trying to... Yeah. Trying to bait that burst, though. But, yeah, Stella did not bite. Ooh, Lord. Oh, no. Almost got the grab, though. But Stella was aware. That scramble, though. That scramble was... <laughs> Freaking crazy. Good stuff from Zell. Unfortunately, gets hit by the jumping S from Stella. Stella staying alive. Saving this uh, match ball. This ball match. I'm sorry. So let's see how this pans out. Nice grab from Stella. Gonna get the mix. Fortunately for Zell, he did not get hit by it. Ooh, that big aerial hit though. Ooh. No, what the hell was that? That was that had to be a misinput. That had to be a misinput, man. But here we go. Ooh, Stella getting the bait on the birds though. Here we go, the delayed Yozan Sen, but that was huge. I'm trying to get that wall break for the kill. Ah, big Mega Fist. No, I tried to get a grab. Ooh, no. Oh, nice. Catching the back dash. Trying to get the back dash with the slider head, but here we go with Stella getting the kill and putting another one on the board. We have a high, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we'll do my best. Really, just depends on the time it is in the end, huh? Also, I'm so sleepy still from Slun Sunday's DLPT. No problem, bro. Take your time, because uh, the um, the Bonen Kai is going to be on... Uh, when is it? It's on the... When did we say we are going to do it? 16th? Was it? I think it was the 16th, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I really want to go to TGI Friday now that we're talking about it. I really want to eat there. It's crazy. But, yeah, man. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, get to see each other again over there. That would be awesome. You're coming to uh, EVO as well, Hakuma? Please tell me yes. Here we go. The big guard impact right there. Ooh, that freaking closest. Big combo. Kaboom. Stay there. Here we go. Oh, no. And the wake up. Freaking overdrive from Stella. That was sick. Good stuff. Stella, not afraid. Well, then again, they had like two bars. So it's, it's only normal. Ooh, Lord. Big. 
punish right there on the use on and still I'm just running straight, pressing some buttons and grabbing by the way. Still looking pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely taking the lead. Even I gotta consider my husband. And <laughs> use them all up too quickly. It's understandable. I understand, understand. Here we go to have my front. Wow, the wake up freaking gold burst. Okay. Oh, and he goes for it. Oh, what the hell was that? Still, I'm in with the awareness. Station catches the back dash with the freaking Kabari. Drops the combo, though. Should be able to get the kill. No, not enough. One more chance for Zell. If not, he is going to be sent in. The loser bracket. And we're going to jump it. Ah, and the air to air in favor of Zell. That takes it. Three to two. Really one down to the one. I like the game, but uh, man, I, I honestly, I freaking love this uh, th this song. Uh, this song, song, it's just a background music though, but you can't fight it. Anyways, on to the next battle. Oh, just one second, eh? Okay, we're good. <clears throat> oh man, they do. They have the, <laughs> the best physics as well. <laughs> ah man, I'm a sucker for dead or alive, man. I'm always a sucker. I'm a sucker, man. Guys, one thing we cannot take away from uh, Dead or Alive is the character design, I suppose. Like, it's really out of this world. Like, it's crazy. It's a, really a character design I absolutely love. It's too bad that I don't like 3D fighters, though. But it's it's a very good... I, I like the fighting game. I love the parry system of... um The counter system, you call it? Not the parry system. But the counter system of Dead or Alive is really nice. I really, really like it. I like it very, very much. Oh, we have the parry block mechanic. It's so cool, yeah. I really liked it a lot. Everybody has a Hiragi. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody wake up Hiragi, man. <laughs> but anyways, here we go with... Ooh! Uh, one more, yes! One more rocking... Yes, I remember now. One more rocking... Bill, yeah. I think I played a ton of uh, Dead or Alive 2 when I was a young man. But you're still a young man. But yeah, I played a lot of Dead or Alive 5, I think. Or was it the, the previous one? The, the, the fourth, I think. I played, yeah, some fourth. It was pretty nice. I really had a good time. It was on Xbox 360, if I remember correctly. And it was, yeah, it was a nice, nice game. It was cool. It was cool. Anyways, here we go with the first. Ooh, big freaking sledge hit, counter hit. One more managed to get the juggle. And Maron, man, with the heroic burst on Fort, the American burst. Unfortunately for him, his heroism couldn't. Uh, grant him this round and one more managed to get the second round right now putting one on the board and tying up Ooh, big wake up DP right there from Moron goes straight for the grab oh yeah, yeah of course of course yeah as they should <laughs> I might say that I'm all for like monetizing uh, aesthetic uh, features of a game it's really not a problem why well, I don't like monetizing like DLC characters DLC characters or you know uh, for things that I've never seen though, but uh, like for example, the, uh, if you monetize moves of a game or stuff like this, yeah, I, I wouldn't agree. But like you can, uh, uh, I, I feel like any studio could monetize whatever, uh, whatever uh, aspect of the game if it's aesthetic and if it doesn't influence the result of a, of a, you know, of a, of a game basically. Uh, that being said, who won the first match? I'm sorry guys, I didn't quite see. I think it was Moran. I think Moran got the first match. Yeah, yeah I didn't pay enough attention. My bad. I'm pretty sure it was Moron, yeah. Anyways, we go with Moron continuing uh, his his performance with a perfect. Getting the grab. I'm surprised about the outfit 3 raid for... Yeah, yeah, me too. But it is very expensive, though. It's like the price of a character. It really is. Uh, you have to pr pay the price of a normal character in another fighter in order to unlock, like, one outfit, which is pretty expensive, in my opinion. Hmm, it's pretty cheeky, yeah. That was really underhanded of them, I feel. But, nah, I feel like, okay, well, it's, it's fine, I guess. I just, I don't know, it, it just, uh, yeah. I just wish, like, you didn't have to pay for characters. Okay, so what the hell, uh, so, Maron up 2-0, to zero, I think, if I'm correct. I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not capping, but I think it's, it's correct, yeah. For me, who only buys one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fine, fair enough, yeah. Oh, here we go, the air to air from one more. Almost got the juggle, but unfortunately, Moran was forced to pop the burst. And Moran with the burst bait gets the punish, too. I tried to go for the... Ooh, the 6P. It would... Uh, no, he tried to go for the uh, the stun edge, but was rewarded with the 6P counter hit. That was actually pretty, pretty good for Moran. Nice exchange overall. Still gets the kill. 
Moran on a train right now. What the hell is going on? Moran has no no time to uh, to waste. Definitely unlock the next level right here. A big counter hit right there from uh, one more dropping the combo though. Ooh, tried to get the bait on the DP. But Moran with the air to air combo right there. That was awesome. Good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh. And Moran getting hit by the DP yet again. Good wild assault. Forcing one more to pop the. Ooh, the yellow Roman cancel. That makes it look at that. Boom, boom. And this is going to be dead. Good stuff from one more. Not out of this yet. Still one more chance to make it back. I do believe it's 2 to 0 right now. I have to admit, I haven't 100% kept tabs on the scores. But I think it's 2 to 0 for Moran. And here we go with. Oh, the tabletop. Uh. Uh, one more, unfortunately for him, cornering himself, getting grabbed right now by Marone. Yeah, one more not. Ooh, that cheeky walk out of the corner. And one more with the Wild Assault for the hard knockdown. Ooh, big DP again. Wake up DP from Marone, man. For I scoop, did you see the leaks? Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. And I hope it's true, because if it is, I, I might sub somebody <laughs> I might sub somebody if it's true, yeah. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, and one more. Should be able to get it. And gets it with the sledge. Good stuff from one more. Puts one on the board. But yeah, I hope, I hope it's true, yeah. I really hope it is. But from the quality of the... Judging from the quality of the, of the artwork, it really felt like it was an official, you know, official artwork. So I'm pretty sure... I, I guess it's true. In which case, I'm really happy because... Uh, I kind of want to try somebody else right now, instead of, uh, you know, always playing, you know? I kind of want to try Elf Elf and see what the, what all the fuss is about, you know? Anyways, here we go with Maroon, man. Ooh, and the right, the lightning goes for a, <laughs> I'd call it the Guilty Gear Shimmy, which is ID out when you're right in front of an opponent to make him tech and then landing right on top of them and getting the counter hit and uh, a full combo. So a nice Shimmy right there from Maroon. Oh, Lord. One more trying to get that corner position gets the 6p. Noticing that, yeah, the o that was an OTG close S, so uh, no opportunity to combo. Wow, that freaking mix. How do you block this? That was sick. Yeah, and one more. Ooh, trying to get that. Ooh, that freaking. That awareness from one more. That round was entirely Moran. That was entirely one more. That was crazy stuff from one more right there. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord. Akemi, mais tu es fou! Tu es fou, Akemi! <laughs> Merci, gros, ça fait tellement plaisir. Oh, on attend nos. Uh, on attend le. le, uh, le, le comment dire? On attend bah, le, le, la target. Hein? Bah, du coup, il va falloir que je stream durant la semaine. Je crois que c'était ça l'une des targets, il me semble. J'avais mis une, tar une target comme ça. On va voir. Il me semble que c'est ça. And. Yep. DRG. Wait, I need to double check if Happy GRG is really from South Korea, though. Uh, from that's from my memory. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I, I was, I was right. I tend to not forget these types of things. By the way. So we still have like uh, this match, another match, and then we'll make our uh, way through the semifinals. Et encore ouais, Akemi, merci beaucoup pour le sub. Ça fait extrêmement plaisir. Et euh, ouais, non, mais juste euh, ça fait plaisir. Je sais de stream un petit peu plus souvent quand même, histoire que tu sais <laughs> tous tes gifts, ils soient pas, tu sais, enfin, ils soient pas tous à la poubelle. Donc je vais essayer de streamer un petit peu plus cette semaine, hein. faire un petit effort quand même. Mais euh, ouais, SF6... Euh... Alors SF6... Je t'avouerai que j'ai un petit peu la flemme de streamer les tournois de SF6 parce que... Il y a moins de... Euh... J'ai beaucoup moins de participation, on va dire, de la part des... Bah j'ai beaucoup de moins de participants et tout, quoi. Donc c'est un petit peu moins motivant, tu sais, quand il s'agit d'organiser les tournois et tout. Quand je me tape genre 6 ou 7 participants, ça me, ça me tue un peu mon moral, on va dire. C'est pour ça que, ouais, j'ai... Enfin, j'ai vite... Je pense que si je stream, ça sera juste mes parties moi personnelles. Mais les tournois, à mon avis, ah, je vais peut-être plutôt faire un shift sur Grand Blue et genre alterner entre un tournoi Grand Blue et tournoi euh, Guilty Gear. Je pense, je vais faire ça plus tard, mon ami. Il va falloir que j'en fasse ma bannière et tout. Ça fait un petit peu suer, mais bon, c'est la vie. Bon, ceci dit, regardons. Happy GRG already with the first uh, round win. That was pretty good. Pas spécialement un tournoi. Mais... Ouais, voilà. Les rangs, je vais probablement en refaire. Non, c'est ça, mon sous peu dans cette semaine juste histoire de euh, que, que ça rentabilise un peu tes gifts quoi c'est un peu bâtard que tu me fasses genre euh, 10 gifts et que je, je stream genre 
la prochaine fois que je stream ça soit dans deux semaines quoi. Enfin un petit peu bâtard vis-à-vis -vis de toi je pense. Donc euh, ouais je vais je vais streamer, je vais streamer ce, ce, cette semaine. Je vais faire un petit effort. And here we go with Happy GRG. Ouh almost got killed right there. Yeah, Hagiara with the life lead and unfortunately for Happy GRG getting killed by the minion, the pesky minions. One round apiece. Who is going to take the last one? We shall see. Oh lord! And here we go with Hagiara in the corner positioning. He absolutely loves this po this position my, for my tech. Ah, uh, Happy GRG man, noticing that there was a gap right here and immediately running out of the corner gets the hit with the DP also. Wow, wait. And here we go with the two freaking D man to catch that backdash attempt. Happy GRG man with the up. Look at the damage by the way. Good lord, that was sick. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Ooh, okay. Nice grab right there from Hagiara. That was the correct answer indeed. And let's see how this spins out, man. The pressure is real. Hagiara just binding his time, does not want to overextend. Oh, unfortunately for him, getting hit by the cross up. That was good stuff from Happy GRG. Takes the first round pretty convincingly. I'm happy because we don't have a lot of Leo representation in the tournament, in, uh, in the Brojo Cup in general. So I'm really happy that we actually have some today. Good stuff from GRG. Gets the corner positioning. Goes for the corner pressure. Gets the follow-up K right there with a counter hit. Oh lord. Nice use of the, uh, nice use of the, um, how do you call it, the re, the, how do you call it, I, I forgot the name, damn it, uh, something assault, the wild, wild, wild reflect, here you go, the wild reflect, yeah, and a GRG getting hit by the hard knockdown, I get out getting a corner positioning, deflect shield, okay, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it wild reflex, uh, deflect shield, yeah, okay, I'll try to remember it, was it wild reflex? I don't know why I had this in my mind. I thought it was Wild Reflect, but apparently not, it's not. Okay, Deflect Shield, then it is. Oh, Lord! That freaking overdrive right here, right now, out of nowhere. Good stuff from GRG. Gets the kill right there. And getting a pretty nice lead, not gonna lie. One match, one round. Ça va bien, Xen? Comment vas-tu, Lustu Cru? Oh, that counter hit, though. Good stuff from Happy GRG. Uh, uh, uh. Ça va très très bien. Oh lord. Alors, voyons voir. Ooh, big jumping là-bas. And here we go with Hagiala trying to push Happy GRG in the corner. Gets the shimmy, goes straight into the overdrive. I think GRG. Yeah, pop the burst. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good stuff from GRG. Good stuff from, Ooh, from Hagiala as well. GRG with the corner positioning. Wow, tried to get for the grab. Too far though. And Hagiara being as mobile as ever. Gets hit by the DP though. Ooh, nice awareness right there. Ah, mon pote. Akimi, il m'a fait, fait 10 gifts de, de sub là. Je suis, je suis assez content, je vais pas mentir. <laughs> Merci encore, Akim, ça fait plaisir. And here we go with the cool. Lord, what are you taking for, bro? What are you taking for? Good stuff from. Uh, from uh, Happy GRG takes a pretty nice lead to the zero. <clears throat> and up to the potential final match of this uh, set right now. Let's see if Happy GRG can actually manage to seal the deal or not. Try to go for a Diady right there. Very nice use of the uh, guard point from Hagela. Managed to get the momentum back. Goes for the grab. <laughs> Forcing GRG to pop the burst. Oh lord. And here we go with the close S counter hit. The close S for the opening. Close S again, man. Happy GRG trying to keep as close as possible to Hagiara. Yes, the RC and the kill in the process. Very nicely done. Happy GRG on set point, man. That was very, very, very surprising, yo. Probably one of the only time where I see Hagiara get sent in the loser's bracket as quickly as the second round, man. That is crazy. Good stuff from uh, GRG. Currently sitting on a pretty nice health lead. <laughs> okay, let's see how this pans out. And man, ooh, ah. Hagiara with the pressure. GRG with the freaking surgical 2D, man. That is crazy. 
PGRD going straight into the Iron Bokeh <laughs> for the wall break. Oh, I think he got the bait or not. <laughs> Wake up overdraft from high get out. He did have two bars. I can't. Oh no, and the badly timed grab from high get out. Unfortunately, Prem is sent into the loser. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> and on to the next battle. Millie versus JB. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Uh, yeah, I just want to check the brackets. Real quick. Oh, and Mugi actually going to rock Leo right now. Uh, not Leo, um, Axel. Probably a character of. Uh, yeah, I suppose in my honest, uh, in, in my opinion, it's probably that because Mugi usually plays Naguriyuki, but he probably doesn't want to play Naguriyuki versus uh, Jacko. Probably in his mind, it's a bad matchup, which is understandable. I mean, uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to deal with Jacko when you don't have projectiles, to be honest. So, and even if you do, sometimes it's hard. So, knowing that Naguriyuki does not necessarily have. Projectiles or whatnot. He does have like the clone, but it does use um, you know blood gauge and whatnot. Axel Low, uh, taking into account that he has very far reach with his cycles and whatnot, it, uh, probably has an easier time dealing with all of this. Yeah, man, he's been working on uh, on Axel recently, but only for specific matchups though. So in these matchups, there's Jacko. There is also for uh, what's his name, Happy Chaos as well. I think he uses them. Uh, uses them for yeah. Uh, actually, plenty of different uh, matchups. Let's see how this pans out. Oh. Okay, Mugi a little bit late right there on the entire. Okay, he's in. Try to open them up. Goes for the snail, but no one's home. JB a little bit, a little bit too slow on <laughs> the double hit with the minion. JB in the corner. Tried to find the opening using the tab dust straight into the Roman cancel, but very nice. A uh, blocks right there for Mugi. Yo, NVFGC, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Welcome back, actually. And ooh, the big playoff kick right there from JB. Forcing Mugi to pop the... Uh, actually, not pop the burst. Ooh, and Mugi finally popping the burst. His life's... Yeah, hanging by a thread. Who's gonna get it? Ooh. Okay, Mugi. At least, man. Ooh, no. Gets hit by the flying... Uh, the flying minion right there, unfortunate for Mugi. Is he gonna make the change? We shall see. If he wants to make the change, he only has one. Well, he has only two more chances. So let's see if he will actually proceed to do so. Ah, uh, thanks, NVFG. Yeah, I've been looking for. I, I've always wanting to have a closed caption, especially for people, for example, who are maybe at work or you know at the office and they can't afford to. Uh, have sound on and whatnot. I think is is uh, pretty useful for these types of uh, of uh, of use, basically. So yeah, I've always wanted to use it. It's actually pretty easy to uh, to uh, to 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 um, to set up. It's very 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 easy. But yeah, people, you know, they don't tend to uh, they don't tend to want to make research and whatnot. But hey, it's why I love to do so. So I've got plenty of very nice overlays that I've uh, put a lot of time trying to put together and small effects and whatnot. So yeah. I'm pretty proud of my stream. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but thank you very, mu very much for the uh, for the compliments. It's much appreciated. Anyways, here we go. Wow, with the rainfall, the water. Uh, what was it? It's the waterfall. The rainfall. I think it's rainfall. Yeah. And Moogie Man got the first round, by the way. So definitely some improvement compared to the second one, to the first match. Rainwater, thank you. Rainwater, not rainfall. Yes, I, I, I'm sorry. I haven't commentated in like two weeks. I'm a little bit rusty. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit under the weather again, by the way, as well. So that might uh, play into effect as well. That being said, here we go with Mugi with the Axel Bomber getting that wall break. Yeah, JB trying to get his game going. Goes for the RC extension a little bit too late right there to maintain the pressure. Mugi took this opportunity to get his turn back. Goes for the Roman cancel. Mm. Yeah, man. I man, I always get ill during these uh, these uh, these times when it comes to like the, a change in temperature. You can be 100% sure that I'm gonna get like a cold or something because the change of temperature always gets to me every single time. So I basically get ill at the start of winter and at the start of summer. It's these two. These two specific times, I will always get ill. Whatever the the reason, it's all it's it's so annoying. 
Because I know it's coming too, you know, it's not as if like, oh, some year I'm not gonna get it, some year I will get it. No, you're gonna get it all the time at these specific uh, moments. So yeah, but it is what it is, it's fine. Thanks, Sprout, thanks, much appreciated. And here we go with the Rainwater and the Axel Bomber. Another Axel Bomber for the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, Boogie trying to get the air to air, but JB, man, finding the opportune timing to get the grab. Goes for another grab right in the corner. Goes the cheeky one right there. Tries to go for the third one. Wow, knowing that Moogie likes to press button when your opponent, Roman, cancels out of the blue. Uh, this time around got hit by the far HS, uh, from, not the far HS, the far S from, uh, from JB. But uh, still managed to get the kill with the grab. Moogie on set point. Actually, not set point. Uh, on the verge of taking this uh, third match. I might have forgotten to update the... Uh, the, the score, maybe not actually. Okay, here we go. Yo, here we go with the burst. Both players out of burst. The person who gets open now is gonna have to deal with a lot of damage, and this is unfortunately for him. JB, rainwater, <laughs> rainwater, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got me, you got me, guys. Exactly. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go with Moogie taking the second. Yeah, here we go. The third round, uh, the third match, actually. Going on to potentially the set match of this bout. On the verge of sending JB in the loser bracket. <laughs> I'm going to say Ray Wu uh, every, every time he does it. Every single time. And oh, Moogie with the cheeky gold burst. Trying to get out of the corner by any means possible. But JB says, nope, you're staying right where you are. I do not want you farther than what you are currently. Okay, JB finding the opening with the 2K and the 2B. Here we go with the Sickle Storm. Ah! Moogie tried to go for the right wall, but unfortunately got hit by the Illusion Driver. JB looking pretty good right now. Gets the jump in. Should be able to finish it with the Minion follow-up. Very nicely done. And on to the second match. The second round, I'm sorry. Moogie, uh, Moogie definitely not wanting JB to get this match. If he does, it is going to be a tie. It's going to be that much harder to try to finish it and to seal the deal. With Rainwater, uh, another Rainwater on block this time around. Ooh, very nice guard point. Ah, uh, JB, man, with the guard point. Definitely making good use of it. Gets the 6P. Gets the juggle out of the 6P using the 4 HS, too. That was sick. Big Ray Wu counter hit. Did. Okay. Moogie did not commit to anything. Very nicely done. And Moogie with the Axel Bomber. Should be able to get the kill. Yes, he does. And Moogie, just like this, is on set point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Or is JB going to make up? Oh. He's going to make a comeback. We shall see. The double guard point. You can see that Moogie hates this move. Well, not lots of people like this move, but anyways, back to the neutral, JB finding the uh, air to air, unfortunately got hit right there, and nice, confirm from Moogie, go straight with the tab dust, straight into the Roman cancel, right into the Axel Bomber, that's nah, harder to say Axel bo uh, Bomber, and Moogie with the kill, with the grab, takes it, a 3 to one let's see how this spins out, yo. So FAB versus none other than Happy Geruja, so GR do you call him. Very strong Leo player from Korea, South Korea, so let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the jump in, FAB not ready to check it, got hit by the side switch, the Zvite. Forcing FAB to pop the burst, again with the slider head. Yeah, FAB really trying to get that knockdown. Happy GRG aware of it, gets the extension, come look at this, goes for the grab. How did you, how did, how could you possibly block that? That was sick stuff right there from Happy Garuja. Oh, goes for the blue Roman catch on the blue, the instant overhead. Come on, gets the kill. Good Lord, Happy Garuja is on fire today. Holy freaking Lord. This dude has a train to catch, yo. Le jeu doit avoir tellement changé depuis tard. Mon pote, tu t'imagines même pas, c'est un truc de ouf. C'est un jeu complètement différent maintenant avec les, uh, les Wild Assault, les uh, Deflect Shield, everything. C'est, c'est devenu un truc de ouf. Non mais c'est cool, j'aime bien. J'aime bien pour l'instant. T'as Elfelt qui va sortir pas, dans pas trop longtemps d'ailleurs. Je crois que ça risque de ta, de, ça risque de, de, de t'intéresser ça Cybercat. Le fait que Elfelt va sortir bientôt. 
Ouais. Elle a été leak, ouais. Donc c'est pas officiel. Ça, on peut toujours prendre ça avec un certain grain de sel, tu vois, mais... Euh, avec des pincettes, pardon. Les grains de sel, c'est en anglais. Mais euh, c'est... Ouais. Ça, ça a l'air d'être... Euh, ça a l'air d'être euh, legit. Donc euh, ouais. Euh, J'espère que c'est le cas, parce que j'ai envie de la tester, quoi. Et ceci dit, look at that baby with the optimization combo, the side switch combo goes for the... Wow, the souls! Sorry. Okay. Oh, bless me. And Garuja managing to get the kill with the Zvite OTG. Puts one on the board, one to zero. It's definitely just the first uh, match, so... No sweat, no sweat. We know that FAB has a very huge potential to adapt, so it wouldn't surprise me if he actually managed to do so tonight. And man, Garuja, man. With the, ooh, the optimization combo, bro. Garuja getting hit, though, by the sliding head. Nice block right there. Ooh, and Garuja with the counter hit again with the optimization combo. Yep, goes for the wild assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Goes for the grab. Ooh, look that. Freaking, and again with the combos. Look at that. If you get if you get command grab by FAB in the quarter, it's half of your life that is gone. Even more. Look at this. 75%. Don't get grabbed in the quarter. You're dead. Anyways, here we go with FAB with the jump in. Blocks accordingly. Forcing FAB to pop the burst. Goes for the reflag. Gets the hit. And gets the kill. FAB not out of this yet. Alors t'as des nouveaux spéciaux, des nouveaux coups spéciaux par, par perso, ouais. mais euh, euh, les devs ont décidé de les ajouter petit à petit. Là pour l'instant il y a que, euh, y a que euh, un certain nombre limité de persos qui l'ont, donc entre autres c'est qui c'est Il y a Inno déjà, Inno elle a un nouveau, un nouveau coup, t'as Faust aussi il a un nouveau coup, t'as qui d'autre j'ai oublié complètement... Ah t'as, comment elle s'appelle, Ramletal qui a un nouveau coup aussi, et tu as... Hmm. C'est tout il y avait d'autres, je crois qu'il y avait d'autres gens aussi là. Giovanna, ouais, ra, ouais, voilà, voilà. Giovanna aussi, Angie aussi, ouais. Ah, Angie, il fait chier d'ailleurs son nouveau coup. <rire> je vais pas mentir. Et du coup, là, ils vont rajouter deux nouveaux coups euh, à. Ben, du coup, un nouveau coup à Pot dans le prochain patch. Et aussi un à Axel. Donc voilà. Là, c'est pas mal, c'est pas mal. C'est cool, c'est cool. Moi, j'attends ça. Ah, j'attends ça avec impatience, plus ou moins, on verra bien. Euh, c'est une bonne question, j'ai pas regardé. Merde. Je crois que c'est... Bah, je crois que c'est à Fabi, non Euh, chat, who won the first match I forgot. I didn't pay attention. Ah non, it's Garuja, Garuja, right Ah non, it wasn't. It was... Yeah, it was FAB. Garuja won the very first match, then it was FAB that won the second one. I think so, I think. Well, we'll see. Sooner rather than later. Anyway, here we go with the Potemkin Buster right there from FAB. Taking the first round, the second, the third match. Yeah, this spins out. Big slider head right there from FAB. Goes for the flick, gets the counter hit. GRG has to hold it. Oh, big, big, big punish right there for FAB. Against the DP right there from Happy GRG. And this should be enough to kill. Yes, it is. Man, FAB taking it extremely quickly this time around. Puts two. Puts another one on the board. GRG losing the... Uh, lead, unfortunately for him. Almost got hit by the Mega Fist. Wow, what the hell is that? There you go, GRG getting that knockdown. Oh, but also getting hit by the back Mega Fist. Nice punish from FAB. Tried to go for the command grab. GRG a little bit too late right there to get the punish off of the whiffed cam command grab too. GRG with the wake up to the RE series, but he knew that he had some bars, so. And here we go. Ooh, Lord, the blocks, man, from FAB. This man is a god. How did he block this? But still, man, it uh, ended up uh, dying, unfortunately. Which is fine. FAB in the lead still, currently. Ooh. Oh. Gets the counter hit. The jumping counter hit. FAB trying to get that knockdown in order to get his game going. Nice guard point right there from GRD. Gonna get the wall break with the Iron Bucket. It was gonna be the mix up. GRG trying to get a reaction off of FAB right there. Virtually got hit by the Hammerfall. 
And the pressure is real in the corner. Big back Mega Fist, no counter hit. And FAB going for damage right now. And the side switch as well, actually. Wow, that freaking combo though. Kaboom! Get out of here! One more chance for Happy Joy. Well, he does have the burst. Ooh, oh, that was sick! That was sick. I wonder if he would have gotten hit by the reflector, even though the animation for the super would have started. But I want to say that he probably knows this more than I do, so probably would have gotten hit if he didn't a Roman cancel right now. Wow, Lord! The Roman cancel into the Potemkin Buster. Regarde mon leg. Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans l'espace? Alors, euh, ouais, ça, je suis libre le 16 décembre, mais juste durant la nuit. Oh, yeah, man. Happy GRG is a sick Leo player. He's super strong. Very strong player from South Korea. Et je devrais être, euh, je devrais être dispo dans la soirée, ouais. Carrément. J'aurais dispo dans la soirée. L'après-midi, la, par contre, je vais probablement les bouffer. Bah, cette bah, on se tient au courant. L'anniversaire de Jen m'intéresse plus que euh, l'event qui, euh, normalement, devrait se passer le 16. Donc, ouais. <rire> <rire> Alors voyons voir. Ils ont pas réduit un peu les dégâts de manière générale ou c'est qu'une impression Ils ont réduit, ils ont, ils ont, ils ont, ils ont, ils ont. Ça va être dans la soirée, ok, ok. Euh, je te tiens au jus, mais toi, toi, ça, ça va être bon, je pense. Je pense que je vais, je vais venir. Ouais. And uh, Happy GRG putting another one on the board against FAB, by the way. So a GRG definitely no slouch, extremely strong Leo player. <coughs> And uh, yep, just one second, guy. <clears throat> Here we go the hammer. Oh, big wild assault right there. Happy GRG just con content to not press anybody. Boom! Here we go with uh, the juggles. Ah, happy GRG getting that overhead. <clears throat> Good lord. Big guard point. Nice blocks from FAB though. Not committing to anything. Ah, big counter hit. <clears throat> Happy GRG absolutely wanting that first. Ah, no! And here we go with the side switch. Wow, this is the absolute worst thing that could have happened. <clears throat> go the close pressure. Woo! Nice. Nice air grab, that was sick. Woo! FAB in the corner. Yeah, FAB in the corner. Oh, here we go. You're going back there. Oh, Lord, is that gonna kill? Oh, it's not gonna kill, though. One more chance. The one hit from either. Should be enough to kill. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, you hate to see it. That was so unfortunate. So, happy Georgie getting the lead. Who's gonna get the kill? We shall see. <clears throat> that was sick, though. And you're all big Garuda, man. Counter hit too. It was sick. Ooh! Garuda with the 2D counter hit. Gets the grab. Oh! Oh, Lord. Garuda, man. Loving his 2D counter hit. Wow. FAB with the freaking side switch in the process, too. That was sick. Goes for the, the wild assault. Let's see with the wake up. Oh, Lord. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, if it be not ready to block. Oh, and gets the kill with the hammer fall. We're going down to the last round of the absolute last match to determine who's going to make their way to the winner's final. Let's see if FAB has what it takes to... Well, actually, if Garuja has what it takes to defeat FAB, we shall see. Nice grab from Garuja. Takes the lead. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Got it by the slider head, though. Nice jump out right there from Garuda. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, FAB cannot. Ooh, finally got the. Finally got the hidden. Ah, that 2D, though. The 2D got it. Nah, this ain't the grand final. <laughs> That's the semi final. First semi final. Uh, winner semi final. 
And Garuja looking pretty good right now on the verge of taking it. Ooh, what the hell was that? Wake up, butt. What the hell was that? Yeah, let's see it. What are you gonna do, Happy Garuja? Oh! Oh, Happy Baby Man! Oh, if he had the. Fr oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Lord! One more hit. Ah, I need that in. That was so unfortunate, Garuja. Manages to send it. That was crazy, bro. Yeah, I know, right? I know. And here we go. Uh, C'est une bonne question. Laisse-moi voir. Il va venir. Il va venir. T'as semé? Just a uh, petite tour on Cybercat. That's so bad! Uh, two seconds. Aviez-vous subé Cybercat? Quand est-ce que vous avez subé? J'ai pas vu ça. Et uh, laisse-moi voir, laisse-moi voir. Ah ouais, t'as ça, ok. Autant pour moi, autant pour moi. J'ai pas dû voir ça. Uh, je suis actuellement. Ouais, je suis pas en Super Saiyan. Moi. Ok, bah normalement. Le sub ça dure euh, une minute normalement. Euh, moi, pas le sub le. <rire> le Super Saiyan dure une minute normalement. Donc laisse-moi voir. Euh, T'as ce bécon. Euh, et c'est automatique, c'est au moment où tu sub que là je, je reçois le buff. Si t'as ce bé, genre offline, offline par exemple, enfin j'aurais pas pu le voir. <rire> Malheureusement. Euh, mais je t'avouerai que je sais pas trop 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 trop. Ouais. Il ouais, y a les gifts aussi là-dessus. Follow tip here. Mini gift, yeah. Normalement, oh, c'est en haut. Qu'est-ce que c'est, putain Ouais, non, je saurais pas te dire. Je ne saurais point te dire. <rire> Mais t'inquiète, je, 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 je le ferai une fois que je change la caméra. Je le ferai, t'inquiète. J'enclencherai je, je, le, euh, le super scène, t'inquiète. Je te donne un freebie. <rire> Merci pour le sub, hein, ça fait plaisir. On a beaucoup de subs aujourd'hui, hein, je vais pas mentir. En partie, euh, bah surtout en grosse partie grâce à, à Kemi aussi. Et euh, non mais c'est cool. C'est cool, c'est cool. <coughs> bon bah je vais faire ça. Non nah, t'inquiète, t'inquiète. Je vais l'activer après, t'inquiète. Je vais l'activer après. Fais-moi confiance. Je vais même me transformer juste là devant. Euh... Bah tu sais quoi je peux le faire là maintenant, regarde. Euh, alors. Euh, je vais le faire après, je vais le faire après. Par contre, bah, faut pas trop trop. Euh... J'ai pas envie d'embêter les, les viewers, mais je vais le faire après, t'inquiète. Juste au moment où euh, je fais le replay, à la fin du match, on va faire ça ensemble. Alors du coup, euh, one round of peace, holy freaking lord, man. Moogie versus Achan, let's see how this pans out. Achan with the math pressure in the corner, especially in the corner. Oh lord, overdrive, is that gonna hit? Yes it does, a little bit too far to get the animation, but, but it's still fine, he's got the follow-up. Achan, man, with the checks right now, knowing that Moogie was gonna go for the grab. Je peux parler en anglais si jamais pour les viewers je vois. Ok, no problem. Of course, no words. And here we go, the overdrive from Achan on the verge of getting that first match. Goes for the safe jump right before the bomb, right after the bomb. Ah, the double Fukio. And now you are in limbo. Oh, too far to get the hit. Oh, nice, man. Oh, this is going to the last freaking... Oh, and the instant overhead, Moogie New. Moogie New gets the first match. Really, really nicely done, by the way, by Moogie. From the skin of his teeth. That was crazy stuff. Good stuff from Moogie. With the ins and outs. That being said, Achan. Trying to get a little bit of zoning going. Oh, nice air to air for Moogie. Oh, that was a huge 2HS, unfortunately, for Prachan with the closest right there. But you're gonna get the Wasuri Yuki wall break. Big Wasuri Yuki straight into the kill. Prachan struggling to get his uh, game going though. Gets the Twitch chase counter hit. Should get a juggle. Almost got the juggle. Goes for the bomb and a grab. Mugi not ready. And here we go with the mixes. Again with the grabs, man. Moogie, not afraid. He has the forest forcing. Attempt to pop the burst. And here we go. It's pressure time. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Nice command grab right there from Moogie. Getting some life back. Woo! And Achan with the slowdown. The Roman cancel. Managing to get the... Ooh! 
Managing to get the punish on the Fukyo. On the, the, not the Fukyo, the, uh, the Beyblade. Nice jump in for Mugi. And in the corner carry. Ah, uh, yeah, just wanting that wall break. Gonna get it. Ooh, big forest counter hit right there from Macha. Getting some momentum back. Ooh, what is gonna happen here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> very nicely done by Achan. <laughs> Using the very long recovery, not recovery frame, invincible leak frames of the Wild Assault in order to go through the super of Mugi. Mugi too far to get the bite though. Ah, ils sont super durs. Ouais. Ah, mon pote, c'est. C'est abusé, ouais, je vais pas mentir. Big 6 HS right there from Mugi. Gets the second round as well, yo. The second match. Making his way to the third match, actually. If Mugi wins this one, he will be sending Achan in the losers. Nice command grab from Mugi. Let me check the brackets real quick, guys. <clears throat> Just to be sure everything is going fine and everything is going smooth as butter. I am really happy. I had nobody call me for the bracket trying to like to tell me, no, uh, I don't understand where everything went smooth as butter. I love it. I love butter, man. Anyways, here we go to the wall break. Mugi with, ooh, getting hit right there by the forest. And Bedman, ooh, going for the fake outs. Ah, nice 6 p from Achan. Gonna get the corner pressure. Ah, nice 6 p from Mugi. Gonna get the juggle as well, yo. Coolest Legend 27, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the pro, Joe. And here we go. Ah, uh, Mugi getting that win as well. One second, guys. I just one second, guys. <clears throat> I had to move. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I just have a little bit of a technical issue. I'll be with you right away. A nice stuff though from uh, Achan, finally managing to put one on the board. We're going to two to one for now. <laughs> Japanese honey. <laughs> okay, hopefully this will do. Hopefully. Okay, hopefully it's gonna work. Anyways, so we're going with Mugi <laughs> getting pummeled in the corner <laughs> by Achan. Achan looking pretty good right now, going for the install. Yes, the 2HS should be able to get the juggle with the close S for the, well, for the, with the far S for the kill. And Mugi right with the start of the round with the Beyblade, gonna get the wall break. Japanese Hame. So this, so this. Oh lord! Nice 2S counter hit. Oh, Achan straight with the wild assault, man. Getting his turn back. Knowing that Mugi is really trying to get his turn back as well. What is these freaking... Ooh, big overdrive. Yep, this is gonna hit, yeah. Mugi probably gonna go with the RC extension. Yeah, I know, I know Mugi. I know Mugi. Oh no, he drops it! He drops it, but it's fine. <laughs> it's not a problem. Mugi on um, um, set point, by the way. If he wins this, he makes his way to the uh, winner's final. Nice command grab from Mugi. Gets the freaking backdash with the close S. You love to see it. Okay, and here we go with Mugi. Ah, getting the big DP counter. This should be enough to kill. Go straight into the overdrive. And just like this. 
Hopefully, he sends that town in the loser's bracket and make his way to the winner's final. And on to the next battle. This is the loser's bracket, Hagiara versus Usui Johnny. And both players extremely strong. Usually, when both of these players uh, face against each other, there tends to be a... Uh, like... Uh, more times than Hagiara actually ends up winning than the other way around. So let's see if uh, Sujani can manage to win this time around. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. I just need to <laughs> get a cup of water. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait. So, how's it going? So for now, Hagira with the corner position. Gonna get the kill with the wall splat. Very nicely done. On to the second round though. The sweet Johnny, no stranger to dire situations. Gets the jump in. With the confirm into the Mist Finer. Oh, nice XP and nice guard right there from Hagara. Hagara, a little bit too eager to take right there. Got hit, unfortunately, and got baited again with the aerial misfinder straight into the... What's my name? Boom! I see Johnny with the jump in. Ah, oh, I wasn't sure whether or not Hagara was going to go for a uh, burst or not. But thankfully, we see Johnny managed to get the... Second round with a perfect. That is perfect for the morale specifically. Nice six speed right there. Wow, man. Managed to get the entire with the standing P. Nice. Uh, let's see how this spins out. Yeah. I get out with the corner positioning. Gonna get the hit. Let's go. I got indeed. And welcome to Carrots of Wisdom, the strongest jackal in Europe. It's a pleasure to have you here, Carrot. How are you doing, bro? And I get up with the corner positioning and the corner pressure. I was gonna get his. Yep, gonna get the party starting. He has two bars. We see Johnny has zero resources. Doesn't even need to use the cheer. Goes straight into the Elysian driver right after the Walsh flat. Boom! <laughs> Third pog, indeed. That's good to be. That's good to hear, guys, man. That's cool. First match goes to Hagara. Let's see if Usui Johnny can manage to get a the comeback. We shall see. For now, Hagera with the Immaculate Zoning using their, their minions. And relentless at that, man. As soon as as soon as soon Usui Johnny finds a way like to get him off of his back, Hagera is always, he's already right back at it. Does not want to let Usui Johnny get a single second of respite. Woo! Very good to jump in. You see, Johnny finally made his way in. Oh, big miss fighting right there. Almost got the juggle. He did get the follow up uh, standing in chest, though. Oh, yeah. You see, Johnny. Oh, goes for the tap dust. Immediately into the room and cancel for the kill. Good stuff from Usi Johnny. Big. Oh, that was a big for Hagiara. Gets the wall break. Using the wild assault to uh, get a hard knockdown as well. Here we go with the corner pressure. Again, straight into the Elysian driver. And this should kill. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Hagiara. Going for the extension station with the freaking Roman cancel. Right after the Elysian driver to... Guarantee a kill. Here we go with the Miss Finer. So Johnny really struggling to get his game going. Not going to lie. And it's minion time. Ah, nice aerial take from both of them. So Johnny making his way ever so slightly in the corner. Ah, finally made his way in. Should be able to get the wild assault. Yes, he does. 
goes for the safe jump. And it's, ah, uh, yeah, it's pressure time. Nice Miss Finer. Try to go for the, yeah. Try to invite Hagela to take the grab right there. Too far to get the juggle. That was so unfortunate. Nice. See, Johnny, knowing that Hagela absolutely loves the guard point. Ah, uh, goes for the delayed Miss Finer and gets the juggle with the RC and the kill. Incidentally, very nicely done. One match apiece. We have a... Uh, a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this points up. Yeah, I get up. Drawing first blood. Forcing Johnny to pop the burst. Again with the 2k 2d. The favorite button of every jackal ever existed. The 2k. <laughs> Big 2d count hit. And Haga should be able to get the, yeah, the wall break. And good lord. Big, big, big win right there from Hagara. Ah, Exxon, uh, pour le Deftones, là, c'est une, uh, une musique, uh, c'est une musique copyrightée, ouais. Que je me trompe pas. <laughs> c'est bien copyrighté, ouais. Ouais, ah, désolé, mec, je vais, je vais te rendre tes points, mais. Ouais, je vais... ah. Après, si je fais ça, si je la laisse. Euh, si je la laisse, euh, comment dire, jouer euh, on stream, ça va me le muter après. Et quand je vais faire l'édition et tout, je pourrais pas avoir de. Ah, on va pas avoir de son dessus, quoi. Malheureusement. Donc, désolé, je te rends tes points, je te rends tes points. Ouais, de préférence des jeux de. de... Ah, c'est pas un problème, monsieur Sac. De préférence des, euh, des musiques de, de jeux de combat, s'il te plaît. <rire> si merde. Mais je te rends tes points, t'inquiète. Euh, voyons voir. Nah, nah, je, le, je les garde. Je les garde. Enfin, tant qu'ils me le mute pas, moi je les garde. Et généralement, avec les jeux de. Les musiques de jeux de combat, ça me les, ça me les mute quasiment jamais. Enfin, ça me les mute jamais, justement. And you're with the jump in. Let's see Johnny with the Mist Fighter. Ooh! Wow! Using the Miss Finer, the, uh, the lateral Miss Finer to kill the minion right when he was sent in the direction of, uh, of Lucy Johnny. <clears throat> voilà, nickel. Merde. Good lord. C'est parfait, c'est parfait. And here we go with the juggle from Hagara. Getting the kill. I get up. Taking the lead 2 to 1. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh. Nice juggle using the minions. I gotta try to push the. His, trying to push Johnny as quickly as possible in the corner. I gotta force to pop the burst right there. Ah, uh, Lucy Johnny getting aerial grab. Man, I get it so good on the uh, the aerial grab every single time. Especially for him gets hit by the close S and Lucy Johnny. Oh, I get it this time a little bit too quick to pop to to push the tech button right here. Gonna get hard knocked down into a safe jump for the kill. Let's see how this spins out. Nice 4 HS right there from Usui Johnny. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he does. Doesn't have any resource to secure the hard knockdown, though. And Usui Johnny trying to make his way. Yes, gets the aerial grab. And gets the instant. Oh, Lord! Nice decision right there from Hagara to pop the burst. If not, it would have been catastrophic. And Usui Johnny working on that comeback. Yo, putting one on the board again. We have a tie, two matches a piece. This is so many times it happened today, by the way. Which is a very good thing, I'm not complaining. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Very nice jump out right there from Sui Johnny, forcing Ayala to pop the burst. 
and it is a minion time in the corner. <laughs> you see Johnny using the uh, the delay that is incurred when he uh, inputs the aerial misfiner, but not, yeah, not shooting it unless absolutely certain it actually hits. Again, <laughs> very nice switch under right there. Cross under, sorry. And I get a with the close up pressure gets saved by the 2D though. Know? Very nice confirm right there from Musi Johnny. Woo! Knew that the deflection was coming and punished accordingly. Hagiara on the verge of getting eliminated, by the way. Let's see how this spins out. I got a very the usual the usual uh, favorite to take the uh, tournament, especially recently where he's really been uh, doing a good job of uh, of playing Jacko. So let's see. Ooh, Lord! Nice confirm from Musi Johnny. Look at the damage. Go straight into what's my name. Boom! Sorry, well, we don't know either. Gonna get the wall break. Oh lord, nice six period there from Hagiara. But Usu Johnny with a good combination of using 6p against aerial... Aerial, um... How do you call them? Lackeys? Not lackey. But minions straight into the Miss Finer in order to hit Hagiara who's most certainly running behind. Trying to close the distance and the gap between both of them. And yeah, Usu Johnny... Definitely does not want to overextend. Does not want to go to with another round since this one is going fairly good. Yeah, I get him, man. Oh lord, almost. Ooh, no more minion. It's time to go. Ah, uh, yeah, things are looking pretty bad for Isujuni. Yeah, he's in the corner right now. Oh, forced to pop. Oh lord, I get up popping the burst. Oh, getting the hit and. Let's see Johnny keeping his burst for the next round, which is a very, very good idea, by the way. Nice to K2D right there from Hagera gets the pressure, forcing Lucy Johnny to pop the burst. Ah, Lord. Ah. Nice stuff from Hagera. Got the corner positioning. He does have two bars. Nice use of the aerial misfire in order to slow his landing. Timing and punishing Hagara. Who? Oh wow, that was a nice confirm. Ooh, go to grab. Oh no, Hagara getting the juggle. We're going to tap the dust into the Roman cancel. Hagara does have bar for the Elysian driver to secure a. Oh no, too high for it. Are you serious? You need to see it. Now wait, it's not over till it's over. Did Johnny with the misfinder? Ooh, almost got the aerial grab. That was sick as well. Oh wow, and the minion tanking the misfinder. Ah, oh, let's see Johnny trying to go for grab. Ooh, gets it by the 6p. And the 2d for the kill. And Hagala prevails. And on to the next battle. Maron versus JB. Who is going to prevail? Maron has been playing extremely well these uh, these recent days, almost taking uh, one of the hardest uh, online tournaments in Japan, which is the um, Fugashi uh, something. Fugashi was it? Yoru Fugashi from uh, I forgot the tournament players. So it's not tournament player, but the organizer's name. But it takes place every Sunday starting 9 p.m. GST time. And uh, the, 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 this tournament actually, Manon, Maron, I'm sorry, Manon, <laughs> I played too much Street Fighter 6. Maron almost like won it twice in a row, like he made it up until the semifinals twice in a row. Uh, in the finals actually, the grand finals twice in a row, and unfortunately was not made, uh, was not able to seal the deal. So, um, certainly strong player, uh, definitely working a lot these days, uh, so definitely a player to look out for. Got the grab, JB, look. In dire straits right now. And JB getting the. Uh, yeah! Ooh, JB gonna steal it! 
Maybe he should be able to steal it, and he does! Getting the kill! Very nicely done! And on to the next battle. Nice 2k 2d right there from JB. Should be able, yep, to get the corner positioning. He will go for the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Oh lord. Moron found a way in. Nice for HK, uh, HS right there from JB. Gets hit by the Sun Dipper though. Ooh, this is gonna be a punish. Yeah, good stuff from JB. Popping the overdrive at the absolute best moment possible. That required some pretty huge components. Oh, by the way, JB is Japan, the Japanese, not Korean. I haven't updated the, the flag in a long time, it feels. Sorry, bad one. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. I haven't updated this. <laughs> the, the flag in a long time, I feel. Anyways, uh, on to the, the commentary. JB trying to make his way towards his opponent. All the while, keeping the corner positioning, but it is too. Late, Maron is out of it and the neutral has been reset. But Maron this time around making his way to the corner with JB on the top of his sword. Goes for the tab, does, but nice blocks from JB, man. Definitely on point. That being said, Maron prevails with a uh, with a wall break. Very nice for S right there from Maron. Should be able to get. Yes, we'll get the wall break. With the jump in. Ah, the fuzzy, but JB knows it. JB knows it. You can't do it to him. JB knows. He knows. He knows. Maron with the fuzzy setups gets the hit with the stun the burst. Forcing JB to pop the burst. JB looking pretty good right now. Nice wall break from JB. Wow. Wake up, Sacred Edge. Big 6P and even gets the follow up juggle for the kill. Maroon putting one on the board. And on to the next battle. JB forced pop the burst, but has two minion on deck. One minion now, that's. Nice stuff from JB. Oof. Nice corner carry combo right there from Maron. But an equally nicely timed tech from JB, unfortunately for him. We'll get over, we'll get open with the follow up. Yeah, Maron probably noticing that JB has been taking one too many times. And we'll probably go for throw baits from now on, I, I suppose. Okay, very nice use of the Sun Edge to go b uh, below the uh, the minion. Effectively catching JB on their landing frames. Rom did set on trying to hit JB with the Stun Edge. Not the Stun Edge, the, uh, the, the, um, what's it called? the... His fireballs in order to make every single minion disappear. Finally, yeah, as I have said earlier, Maron will definitely try to... Uh, Catch JB pressing them tech buttons right there to get the optimal punish and the kill. Goes for the load this time around. Noticing that JB had blocked his previous fuzzy attempt and effectively getting the kill. Moran with the win. Well, the, the the win of this match at least. So 2-1. to one. Let's see if Moran can steal the deal and eliminate JB. Ah, JB making some more use of the Tap the tap guard, the tap guard. What are we talking about? The guard point. Ooh, nice side switch from Maron. Also gets the burst punish. Wow, huge damage for Maron. What is gonna be Adio ah, Kizemit? Very nicely timed jump in right there. Also committing to the follow up just in case, catching the back dash with the closest. Knowing you well, just incorporating all of these strategies to catch as many uh, outcomes as possible, as he just did. Ron with the positive bonus. Ah, here we go. Oh, we're on again, man, with the 
With the stun nipper. Everybody's favorite stun nipper. Okay, Maron still has like one bar of tension. He has options. He's gonna get the kill with the stun nipper. And that is it for this match. So, Atian versus Hagiara. Let's see how this pans out. Atian has really been playing out of his mind the whole of this tournament. The whole of the tournament, I'm sorry. The whole tournament. That would have been more uh, English or correct, I suppose. And yeah, man, very, very strong um, Batman player that I was told was probably one of the strongest in Japan currently. Personally for him, got hit by the 2D counter hit from Hagiara. Uh, the pressure of Hagiara is really... Is unworldly, ungodly. <laughs> it's crazy. One of the strongest Jacko in Japan. Well, uh, there are two other Jackos who can pretend to this uh, title as well. But Haya is an extremely strong Jacko player. In Japan, yeah, you also have obviously um, and you have uh, uh, Nidai Mesa as well. Extremely strong, both of them. Uh, they are both the strongest. Uh, Contenders for the strongest uh, Jacko in Japan. Arguably the world, but there are some pretty nice Jackos elsewhere as well. Especially right now. In the chat, Kara's wisdom, of course. <laughs> but yeah, man, Migu Migu and the Nidaime, very strong Jackos as well. Probably after both of them, it is probably Hagiara on third uh, on third place, I'm pretty sure. I think in uh, America you have Ad Adventure as well. He's a strong Jackal player. Apart from that, I have problems really knowing who is strong with them with her though. But yeah, yeah, in Japan it's definitely yeah, Hagiara is on top. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's still sticking with the character or if he decided to to change. But ah, he's a sim bro. Okay, well that's fine. That's nice. He always plays interesting characters all the time. That's what's cool about this this dude. I feel he always plays like characters that you would not like expect somebody to play and, and do well with. But yeah, no, he plays really good with her. Uh, with uh, with um, he played he played really good with Jacko. Right, here we go, with the minions trying to get Atom to stay on the ground. Oh, oh, Sin who has been really buffed by the way. Sin who actually scares me as a Nino player. Like, I, I'm always scared of playing Sin now because of, of the recent buff that he had. Okay, here we go with the zoning. Achan using as many zoning as possible just to prevent Hagiara from, yeah, from throwing this. I can see why uh, Bidman might be a problematic, a problematic uh, matchup for Jacko. I can definitely see why. So it's quick in the season. Folks gotta do their homework in the matchup now. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It, it seems like relentless and. From whatever the distance at which he hits you, it feels like you can always get like a full combo off of it. You know, it's freaking crazy. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah. yeah. But it's 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 fair, it's fair. He's not like completely busted still. There, there are some things that you can do uh, against him, of course. <laughs> yeah, man. I know, man. <laughs> Here we go with the Elysian Driver. How get I'm not afraid to... Pop the overdrive. Woo! There should be a safe jump. Yes, it is. It's unfortunately unfortunate for Achan, who's probably gonna die because of it. Ooh. Here we go, the corner pressure. I get that does not have any bars anymore. Well, does not have any, yep, tension bar. Ooh, big wild assault. Ooh, and here we go, man, with the juggle. That was the absolute worst outcome that could have happened. <laughs> and it happened. Good stuff from Achan with the comeback, man. That was crazy. And I was there, like, saying, yep, Hagera is probably gonna take this one. No, he doesn't. Commentator scares. And Hagera, here we go, and Hagera in the corner. Achan caught, pressing some buttons right there. Ooh, that brave forest, though. Okay, here we go. Ooh, with the overdrive! Oh, it's just, man, the range of this overdrive is it's so, it's so rubbish. It's so bad. Like, I feel bad about what happened right there. <laughs> ah, and this should be enough to kill. Elysian! Driver! Okay, I got a not out of this yet, though. 
If he wins the next one, he should be able, uh, well, it will be one match apiece, which is good. Well, one round apiece, one match apiece, I'm sorry. Oh, big closest counter hit. Oof. I got using 2D, completely ignoring the, uh, the, the, the flick shield right before it. Look at the, look at the mixes, man. And I got a finding the opportune moment to actually press 2K 2D. Good stuff. And here we go, I get up putting one on the board. Extremely good defense during this, uh, this, uh, during this round, not going to lie. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Wow. Ah, uh, Hagata with the guard point, man. The aerial guard point, knowing exactly when Acha was gonna press a button. And here we go with the corner pressure, man. You love to see it. Hagata with the grab. Goes for the low, the empty low, actually. Nice blocks right there from Acha, man. Getting hit, unfortunately, by the second tap dust and the third one for the kill. I get on the verge of taking this uh, third match, actually, and taking the lead, incidentally. Pop the grab, bro. With the juggle. I am trying to find that opening, but actually, I'm not giving it to him for free. Yeah. Good lord, man. How did he know that he had to press a button there? With Achan trying to go for the overhead. Especially for him, Hagara knew what was coming. And here we go, the close-up the close pressure. This is going to do a lot of damage. Is it going to kill? No, it's not. And, ah, uh, yeah. Achan trying to get that kill and does so with the chip damage. Very nicely done. Achan finding the way in. Ah, oh, Lord, that was the worst possible moment to which you could burst. Careful there, and oh, Lord. Achan catching the bag dash with a bomb. Ooh, go straight for round start. Wild assault for the kill. Achan taking the lead two to one. Is Hagara gonna make a comeback? Is definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. And here we go with Achan straight with the start of the round. Wild Assault. Ooh, that counter hurt me through the screen. I could feel it. I could literally feel it. Good lord. And here with the relentless pressure, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. Ah, and still gets opened up. Hagara deciding to keep the burst for the next round, and rightfully so, if you ask me. Nice six spear right there from Hagara. Not phased yet. Not completely giving up. And finding the opening as well. Here we go with the close-up pressure. No! Wow, and Hagara still managing to get the freaking... The, good lord, the freaking juggle. A Wookiee game? <laughs> you have to tell me what's a Wookiee game, bro. <laughs> nice stuff from Hagara, bro. Saving that, that uh, match point. And Hagara with the guard point yet again. Ooh. Ah, Chan finding the opening. Gonna go for the nope for the wild assault. Got this pins up. Wow, no money here. No. Oh Lord, Hagara on his last feet. He absolutely needs to get going something right now or he's going to die and unfortunately he gets stomped to the ground with the overhead 
Very nicely. Then, uh, speaking of uh, mineral, I'm going to grab myself a bottle of water. I'll be right back. Thank you very much for the wait! So first round actually went to Marone and very quickly at that though. Didn't even see it. Well, yeah, obviously I wasn't there, but it went very, very quickly. Anyways, here we go with the grab from Marone. Gonna go for the cross-up. Nice stand up With the extension using the Roman cancel. No bar for the hard knockdown though. <laughs> We're on with the... Oh, he tried to get the... Oh! Nice kill right there from Moron. Oh, Grand Cross. From the Black Mages as well. I love this song. Well, this background music. From Final Fantasy IX, the final boss. What's his name again? It's Cro ne ne Necros, I think. Necros? Yeah. Or Necro. Necro, I think it was. Yeah. The boss that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the OTG. Marone gonna get the wall break. And man, Marone. What the hell? What the hell did. What the hell was Marone doing? What was he doing? I think it was styling or something. That was good stuff from Marone. Nice 2D though from FAB. Go for the Garuda impact. Oh lord. Oh wow, the double freaking slam. Not slam, but the double freaking shoulder bash. Followed by the wild assault. That was very wild. No punch intended. Oh lord. Get Maron finally finding the win. Oof. Catching FAB. Taking one too many times. Nice back freaking Mega Fizz. And FAB getting the kill. Here we go with the six speed. That was sick. Good stuff from Moron. Oh lord. Moron, man, trying to yeah, vary things up. Not going always for the fight, which is good. Oh, nice. That was sick. He even got the burst bait. And Maron not enough to kill, though. He didn't believe in it. Oh! Don't count FAB out, though. If anybody can make a comeback, it definitely is FAB. Yeah, careful there. The closer FAB is to death, the harder it is to kill him. It feels. It really feels like it. It's like a Super Saiyan, man. Ah! Oh, but Thunder for the kill. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, Maron. Maron taking the second match as well. Let's see if he can seal the deal and actually eliminate FAB from the tournament. Oh, wow, that butt slam, though. Again with the butt slam, again with the butt slam. Okay, here we go with... Oh, man. Catching FAB. Taking one too many times there. Oh! That far is though. We're on with the extension station. Should be able to get the wall break. And does. Oof. Nice mega fist right there. Oh no, he drops a combo. You hit to see it. But it's still fine out over till it's over. Oof. Nice juggle. Wow, Moron with the combo routes right there. Good stuff. Just like this, Marone on the verge of eliminating FAB from the tournament. Woo. We go with the corner pressure. Woo. Wow. 
If we're not out of this yet. Woo! The four chisel. Oh man, again with the freaking full screen grab. Full screen run and grab. Nice defense from FAB not getting hit by the tab dust. Unfortunately gets hit by the grab. Ah man. Maron sticking to him like glue, refusing to let up, and this should be it. Good stuff from Maron eliminating an FAB 3-2-0. That was a really okay. Okay. And here we go with the start of the round. Ooh, we have a little bit of lag, I think. Always happy to watch movie play. Yeah, man. I can definitely ring with this. <laughs> oh, this is not the loser's bracket, by the way. Forgot to update the name. Kakugo! This is the... Uh, this is the winner's finale. Here we go. That's better. Hmm. So here we go with Happy GRG forcing... Mugi to pop the burst, gets the opening with the 2D. Roman cancelled into Walsh flat into death. First round goes to Happy GRD. And Happy GRJ getting the wall break. And get that sweet, sweet, sweet positive bonus. That being said, Mugi not out of this yet. Goes for the command grab. Happy GRG, ooh, getting grabbed on his way to cross up. Ah, no grab right there from Mugi, unfortunately. Ooh, wake up overdrive by Mugi, not having, not wanting to deal with any of this. He should be able to roam and cancel and get the kill combo. Yeah, there we go. Well, the kill hit. Good stuff from Mugi. One round apiece, who's gonna take it all? Oh, a nice guard point right there. Okay, ah, Mugi trying to get some sort of reaction, but not getting the ones that he's currently searching for. Ah, the RG with the... Yeah, the DP was gonna come eventually. Oof! Okay, and here we go with Happy GRG with the chicks. Not wanting Mugi to get out of the corner, obviously. Gonna get the counter hit. Should be able to get the wall spot. Nope, not enough. But it goes for a cross up, cross up reset. Uh, not too late to get the follow up for the kill, unfortunately for him. And Mugi gonna take this opportunity to put. Oh no! No! Well, what the hell? Oh, what the hell was that? That was sick! Good stuff from Mugi, just tanking through the DP using the Wild Assault and killing accordingly. That was sick. That was so sick. And here we go with Mugi, for already forcing Happy GRG to pop the burst. Big six. Oh, wow, that was sick. I didn't even know you could combo off of it. Ah, uh, yeah. That's that's a mechanic that I have problems like, um, just fully like expecting when I'm playing. It's really like a, I don't expect like the the wild assault to to uh, to have like uh, in invincibility frames. It always puts me off guard. But yeah, yeah, it's something. Uh, it's it's some what of a learning process, I suppose, to get it like automatic, knowing that oh okay they have this, so maybe I shouldn't. Attack here. You tend to forget that it has like invincible E frame. Wow, man, that was sick. Good stuff from Mugi. Gonna get the wall spot. Yep. Nice stuff from Mugi. Gonna get the two HS as well. Goes for the save drop. Ooh, Dale, you hate to see it. We go with the counter, Moogie with two bars, oh, we're gonna get the 6p, and the 6hs for the kill. Moogie taking a pretty nice lead. 
Start of the round with the Beyblade. Finding the hit. And Amugi getting hit by the follow up. Okay, GRG not out of this yet. Puts one on the board, one match piece. Who is going to take the second one? We shall see. Okay, nice pressure from GRG. But Moogie's uh, holding strong. Oh! Moogie making very good use of the uh, the flex shield, man. I haven't seen everybody. Yeah, I haven't seen somebody use it so efficiently, uh, like just during this tournament at least. Not afraid to really burn meter to really try to get his momentum back, I suppose. Yeah, man. Moogie's pretty good at using it. It seems. That's my impression, at least. That being said, look at that. Moogie getting the opening. Moogie trying to find a killing blow, but having a lot of problems doing so. Ah, Lord. Ah, oh, no. Yay, this shit. Good stuff from Happy Georgie. Maybe the secret is to lap some key moments for it, I guess. Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, it's not as if it just comes out as soon as you do it. Uh, you need to not be in block stun or anything else stun, and, you know, then you can use it, so... Yeah, it's an interesting, uh, an interesting mechanic. Ah, happy journey out of the corner. Gonna be put in the other one. Yep, he is. Good pressure from Happy Jordy. He's not letting it up, man. Definitely wants to get that positive bonus. Look at this. Ah, or not. Ooh. Is that gonna be. Nice. Nah, yeah. Nice stuff from Happy Jordy. And again, with you with the in and out, Fukio. You get the kill. Uh, Moogie finding the perfect timing to port Fukio into the grab. <laughs> Both players extremely patient, not wanting to overcommit. Ah. Uh, Wow. Happy JRG. Trying not to lose this one. Really wanting the. Ah, oh, wow. Nice. Wow, the freaking reads of Happy JRG. Wow, Yellow Room and Cancel. And then straight after this, the, the Wake Up Golden Burst and everything. Yeah, the, the freaking reads were out of this world. Yeah, he is. He is, man. Ah, oh, wow. That was. Big, 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 uh, big read. Here we go with the juggle. Let's see where the wall break. <laughs> yeah, man. This guy knows no shame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's not afraid, bro. And. Wow, man. Moogie with the safe jump in. Ah, Happy Georgie knowing that Moogie was going to go for a back hook kill. Wow. Good stuff from Happy Georgie. Not enough to kill. By any means. That being said, one hit should be able to do. Yeah, definitely will be able to do. 
Wow, and the pressure, man. The pressure is real. Look at Mugi. Ooh, wow. He's finally out of it. And Moogie prevails! 2 to 2! Damn, we're going down to the wire! <laughs> it's crazy! How many... How many matches where both opponents win two matches that we had ever since the start of the tournament? It's crazy! Nice punish right there from Moogie with the back dash right into the standing kick. Happy GRG! Answering with a wake up DP! Good stuff! Okay, happy George is in. Mugi needs to, yeah. Uh, nice take right there, aerial take. And the grab from Mugi taking the lead. We are on set point. The person who wins this one makes his way to the grand final without having to go to the loser's bracket whatsoever. Abijardi with the wall, the, not the wall, the, uh, the guard rake. Wow, Mugi, unfortunately for him. Yeah, this is death, is it? Nice up. Okay. Happy GRG trying to go for the... Oh, wow. Good lord. Happy GRG. Oh, look. We're going down to the last round of the last match. This is crazy. Neither one of them wants to let up, man. It's so crazy. Wow, big far chest, though. Moogie looking pretty good, man. Look at the damage. Are you serious? What the hell was that damage? Ah, guilty gear. Good lord. What was that? That was sick. Oh, I think you already forced to pop the birds. Tension is high. I think you already ah overextending there, and Moogie takes it. John, ah John. Okay. Yay! Here we go. So the, this is the loser semi-final. Maroon? Oh, Maroon has Amelia. Okay, this I wasn't aware. The Maroon who uh, is has been our uh, our dedicated uh, Kai player actually also has a Amelia um, sub. I wasn't aware of this. But that being said, it's working pretty good for them. Not gonna lie. Very good. Maroon goes for the cross sub. This time Maroon goes for the fake cross up. Maroon's still struggling a little bit to get the opening that they want, and they find it and go straight into the overdrive for the kill. Nicely done. And on to the next battle. Wow, man, the conversion station from Maroon. Goes for the empty low. Should be able to get the kill, and but not the kill, but the wall break. The kill is not yet here. I know that the damage output is pretty high, but... Especially for Milia, it would take a little bit more. Wow, man. Good stuff from Maroon. Goes for the cross up. Is that gonna be. Oh, okay. Still need one more to get the kill and does it. Very nicely done. Maroon takes the lead 1 to 0. What is Achan gonna do? That being said, like, Achan is rocking Bedman. Bedman would only need to open uh, Milia just a couple of times. Since Batman does have a little bit of, yeah, it has quite the, uh, the uh, damage output, especially if he manages to make it so that his opponent has uh, the, the risk uh, bar of the, the opponent is high enough, then uh, Batman can definitely deal some pretty crazy amount of damage. Problem is actually getting the opponent not to, not to be as mobile. And that's very hard to do against Melee. Yeah, look at the damage output. Woo! Oh, you backdashed. You shouldn't have backdashed. Is that gonna? Yes, it is. Obviously, it is. 
Good stuff from Atom. Let's see if Moron can bring it back. Atom uh, slowly but surely adapting. Ah, uh, unfortunately gets hit yet again by the... I have no idea how you call it. I forgot. But anyways. Uh, here we go with the cross up. Moron with the wall break. Ah, uh, that was an unfortunate burst! Just like this, man. Barone taking this this opportunity to get the round. Nice stuff from a Achan actually taking it with the freaking perfect. That was crazy. And on to the next battle. Bit bros indeed. Not gonna lie, I love my my own bed. Like there aren't many places I love in the world as much as my bed. Like it's crazy. So yeah, definitely bed bros right here. Poor bed though. Poor bed man. And here we go with the mixes. Bitman definitely, uh, yeah, Hapchan definitely having some issues trying to block these mixes. These, these, these mixes. Did I say these bitches? Trying <laughs> to block these mixes. Good stuff from Hapchan though. Yeah, yeah. The joy our bed brings us irreplaceable. I totally agree with you, man. Like, I don't know. Like the process, especially the, the, the older you get, block these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thoughts go away. But yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what does Owl King give me, Mineral? Come on, fill me in. Tell me, tell me. But um, what I wanted to say is um, yeah, man. The the, the older you get, the uh, the 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 more you see in a good light in your bed. I feel when you're when you're a child, the thing you hate the most probably to go to sleep. Holy freaking lord! The older you get. Ah, bread man. I will kick it. I will kick it. I will kick it. Yeah, man. That's true, right? But the older you get, the more, the better in the 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 better light you see your bed. <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> I, there are some times, like especially when I have to go to my office or whatnot to go to work and and everything. I'm like, oh my freaking! I I I have to go out of my, you know, I have to go out actually, and I look at my bed from far away and I'm like, oh my lord, I'm, you're, I'm, I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> it really hits different, you know? Oh man, I love my bed. But anyways, uh, here we go with uh, the... Uh, actually, this might be the last match for the set. He's currently bit... Uh, not bit, man. Achan is leading. Okay, my bad. Let's see how this spins out. And Marone! Uh, finding the opening. Definitely not out of this yet. Gets the kill with the sledge. Very nicely done. So what is Achan gonna do? What is Achan gonna do? Ah... Okay, we're good to go. Sorry for the wait. So, Atya trying to get Baron to keep their feet on the free floor. <laughs> Which is very, very hard. Especially, w well, obviously when you're playing against Melia, the hardest part is to just make it so that Melia stays on the freaking ground. <laughs> Definitely a hard task to do in itself. In and out of this cell. Man, if I swear... I can feel like we're gonna go to the last round of the last match. It's been happening the past freaking three, three games, I think. 
I can swear it's going to happen as well here. This is crazy. Anyways, here we go. But then this is definitely like the last match of the set. After this, we'll have the uh, losers, the losers uh, final. Very nice aerial grab from Akta. Forcing Moron to pop the burst. And Atian really struggling to get the entire right there. Ah, nice call out right there from Atian. Ah, forcing Moron to pop the burst. Ooh, big jump in and nice grab for the side switch by Moron. Forcing Atian to wake up with the gold burst. Atian too far to get the bomb too. Oh, two combo. Kabea really the, uh, the bane of big big characters I feel and the wake up jab right there from Moron should be able to get the west side switch nice for S counter hit not over till it's over Ooh! and just like this Moron on set point who is gonna take it see how this spins out wow nice 6 speed right there from Moron goes for the IAD oh the closest though this is gonna make a lot of this is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Oh lord, Achan going straight into the overdrive. Boom! This is gonna be the Schmix. Ah no, wake up jab again. Ah, don't count Maron out. Here we go with the cross up and nice blocks, man. Good lord. Ah yeah. Here we go with the install. Wow. shaker and nice bar right there from Achan we are going on to the last run of the last match obviously if not it's not fun <laughs> if not it's not the brojo cup oh lord here we go the air to air almost got the druggle the druggle the juggle the druggle it's a drugs as well if I might say you have to be on drug if you play at that level for sure and good ones at that this was a compliment, by the way. <laughs> good stuff. And Atian. Oh, good lord. Huh? Maroon with the juggle. Forcing Atian to pop the, uh, the reflect shield. Straight into the overdrive. What is going to be the wake up? Atian only has so many opportunities. Is, does that hit? Yes, it does. Are you serious? Oh, and the kill with the tap dust! Achan steals it by the skin of his teeth! It's always going down to the wire, I swear to god. It's crazy. We'll get on to the winner's final. Okay, I, I'll be right back, guys. Atian on fire, holy freaking lord. Atian making all his way back from the, the loser's racket, man. Look at that. Here we go with the uh, safe jump. Atian with the explosion. Wow, the air to air though. Good stuff from Atian. No, oh, good lord. When do you press a button? When can you press a button? Nice side switch right there from Happy Dirty. Finally getting something going. Goes for the cross up. The Bedman pressure is second to none. 
It is pretty crazy. There you go, straight into the Iron Bucket! <laughs> there we go. Ooh, the wake up! Overdrive! Unfortunately for him. Happy GRG did not buy, did not overextend, and rightfully so. Nice grab right there from Happy GRG. And, ooh! The butt slam. The bit slam. From Achan. It's a nice zoning right there from Achan. Good stuff. Yeah, definitely wants to keep. Ah, Happy GRG out of. Ooh! Out of his face and Happy GRG. Ooh, okay. Opting to stay, not using the bar. Okay, good stuff from uh, Achan. Back in business. Back in the. Yeah. Back in pressure world. Nice standing S right there. Think things are looking pretty dire for Happy Georgie, and it is. Good stuff from Achan. Takes the second round of the second match. Wow. Nice start of the round this time around. Achan was ready. Here we go the pressure. Oh, even gets the juggle. And the pressure is endless. What are you gonna do? Wow, man. Good lord. Happy Jardy has been like blocking for the past freaking five minutes, it feels. Nice Abari from Achan. Wary of the DP, though. Ooh, nice jump in. And he gets the bait. Get the bait. And gets the kill. Yeah, ooh, I thought it whiffed right there. But it didn't. Good stuff from, from Achan. Holy freaking lord. Achan on fire. Let's see how this spins out. Big jump in right there from Achan. No burst. Finally burst from Georgie. Nice back dash though. That was sick. Let's see how this spins out. Achan. Ooh, getting DP down low. And Georgie finding the opening with the overhead. Ah, nice back dash again. This has been the bane of Georgie, by the way. Atan has been stealing turns left and right by doing this. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he does. With the overhead. Ah, nice call out on the wild assault right there from Happy Jordy. Should be able to not kill though, but get at least the uh, the um, no. Hmm. Good stuff from Happy Jordy. Gets the kill with the cross up. Yeah, this pens out. And Achan with the grab. Still the corner pressure. Nice backdash from GRG. Woo! And again, the grabber gets grabbed. Nice save jump from Achan. Gonna get the wall break. Woo! And the overhead for the kill. Knowing that Happy Georgie has to block standing if he wants to uh, about to block this, and most Leos don't want to lose their charge, so so blank blocking standing is some time of a of a gamble for them. Anyways, here we go with the pressure. Georgie getting the hit and the side switch. Ah, big counter hit right there from Happy Georgie. Burns all of his meter to keep the pressure going. Absolutely wanting to get the kill and actually ends up getting it. Finally, GRG putting one on the board. Are we going again on a last round, last match type of setting? Yeah. We shall see. Nice with punish. Yo, that was sick. Here we go with the forest counter hit. Ooh. Bitman trying to get something going. Ooh, big guard point follow-up hit. Ah, man, this, ah, this is a lot of damage. I Bouquet! I Bouquet! Nice grab right there from Happy GRG. Wow! There we go with the... Uh, this... The, how do you call it? The, um, Trade. 
Ah, uh, John, man. Oh, I want to keep the pressure going. Nice to bar. Get out of the corner. Gets the tap. Does follow up with DRC. Straight into the... Give me five overhead. Beat the Chirac from Happy GRG. <laughs> into the Wild Assault. I hope there are no, no French speakers here. <laughs> Happy GRG. Oh, almost got the kill. Ooh, and Ghost just walks casually towards Achan for the grab and the kill. And Happy GRG, man. Up two to two. Ties it up. Guess we're going to the final round of the final match. <laughs> and here we go back to the neutral. Nice grab from Achan. Oh, nice snipe using the bomb hit. Wow, that far chest, though. That did a ton of damage. A town going ever so slightly. Ooh, gets the trade. And the wall break. Ooh, big, big rising burger. And the tap does for the kill. A town on the verge of... Oh, yeah, of uh, eliminating Happy GRG, actually. Nice confirms right there. Ah. Ooh. We're going to safe jump. Yeah. Happy Georgie getting a little bit. Oh, no. That was an unfortunate rising salami. And this is going to be death. Good stuff from Achan. Makes his way to the grand final last match of today. Unless there is a, um, well, a reset, which is perfectly possible. So let's see how this spins out. Is Mugi gonna get the kill? Is gonna get the win? Or is Achan gonna get the reset and then possibly uh, win the tournament? We shall see. Here we go to 6 8 chess and Mugi in the corner. Pressure, man. Not letting it up for Achan right now. Has his hands tied. Ah, Lord. Big trade. Ooh, nice back dash, though. Nice. Wild assault. Firstly, Mugi did have a, a yellow room in bar to do a yellow room in cancel and get out of pressure. Wow, good stuff. Cross up with the Roman cancel. It's going to do a lot of damage, by the way. Mugi is also on the verge of blood exploding. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Not too far to get the, the freaking conversion station. Yeah. Atian probably going to be content to just try to zone as much as possible to get rid of the tension of Mugi, I suppose. And this is going to be pretty harsh for Mugi to... Yeah. Oh, wow. How are you supposed to block this? What's sake. <laughs> good stuff from, from Atta. That was really good. Oof. Nice back hook here from Mugi. Punish the Wild Assault attempt. Let's see how this spins out. Oof. Mugi finally forced above the burst. Again, punishes the Wild Assault attempt. Should be able to kill. Ah, he would have killed if he did the Wasuri Yuki, actually. Then he didn't expect it, but still. Fine. It is fine. He was able to win it. On to the last round. Let's see who's going to take the first round. Uh, the first match of this bout. Here we go with Mugi applying pressure ever so slightly. With the jump in. Oh, tried to go for the overhead, but Mugi was aware. Nice juggle for Mugi. Wow. And here we go with the pressure. Nice air to her right there from a from a Atia. Atia not out of this yet and gonna get the first match. Wow, good stuff, man. Atia, man, working on a comeback. Now, are we gonna get our first Bedman winner in the Virgil Cup? That would be pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, Bedman currently regarded as probably one of the weakest character, if not the weakest character in the game. If I'm correct. 
Ah, Lord. Nice swift punish though from Moogie. Watch out for to wake up with the gold burst. Almost got the juggle. Go fine. Look at the damage. No, look at the pressure. Ooh. Caught you standing up. Ooh, and. Watch out with the wake up overdrive. Not afraid. Almost got the juggle right there though. Ooh. And here we go with Moogie. And the wall break. Yeah, this spins out. Nice wall assault. With nice tech for Moogie not to get hit by it. Again, man. Watch out bringing everything to get the kill. <laughs> Every single one of his wild assault bars. Very nicely done. Nice close up pressure right there from Atian. Not afraid of getting grabbed. And here we go with the jump in. Atian trying to go for the follow up. We're gonna get the juggle though. Almost get the juggle. Ooh, wow. That was an unfortunate standing with the closest. And Mugi going straight into Wasura Yuki. Good stuff. Ooh, wake up overdrive. If you can do it, I can do it, but... Uh, that being said, Mugi does not have bar in order to extend the combo and get the kill. But Chan still has one chance to survive. And here we go again with the 2HS. Definitely working very good. Ooh, wow. Ah, oh, Lord. Not enough to kill, though. You had to see it. It was a sick, sick attempt, though. Ah, this is death. Good stuff from Moogie. Oh, okay, let's see who's going to take the next one. Nice call out right there from Atom punishing the Wild Assault. Wake up and look at the conversion from the explosion. Wow. Oh, Lord. Ooh, fully charged. And here we go with Moogie with the corner pressure. Finds the opening with the 3k. Here we go with the install. Ooh! Achan, ooh, getting the punish on the freaking YRC. And Achan, man, up to the zero. We're on the verge of having a reset. Ah, oh, of course. Why not? Ah, this is fun. Two to zero for now. And here we go with Achan in the corner. Oh Lord! Gonna get the order kaboom! It's crazy. Oh Lord! Ah, here we go. The closest though. Mugi not out of this quite yet. Wasure you care. Good stuff from Mugi. Oh, but man! I just say, I don't care. I don't care. I have another bar. <laughs> nice wild assault. Start of the round. Gets hit though by Mugi. The, the double full kill. Ow, oh, wow. Mugi trying to find an angle on which he can work to get to open Atiana up uh, consistently, which is pretty hard. Nice forest though. Catching the back dash. And here we go, the bomb, the pressure time. <sighs> Big Shizuri Yuki right there. But, ooh! Nice RC into the command grab. Boogie not out of this yet. We are on the verge of having a bracket reset though. Okay, Moogie looking a little bit more alive. Wow, the punish on the Twitch has go. Uh, wow. Moogie trying to go for the blue Roman cancel um, setup. Perfect. And still takes it with a perfect go. That was pretty cool. Good stuff.
And on to the next battle. And here we go with Boogie Force to pop the burst. He's got the corner positioning. Catches. Achan pressing buttons right there with the 2S. Again, man, with the 6P, you cannot jump on this man. Enough to kill with the 6 HS. Boogie finally finding something out, it seems. Okay, gets the 4K. Catches the back dash with the standing feet. Gonna get the wall break. Damn it. <laughs> but Achan, you cannot teach Achan, man. You will not stop using all the salt at the start of the match. And here we go with the yeah the pressure. That was unfortunate for Achan. He did manage to block the YRC, but expected the bomb that he sent automatically to hit Mugi out of it. But Mugi was still in his recovery frame was still in his uh, in, in invincible frame, so therefore uh, not getting hit by the bomb explosion and Achan missed an opportunity to punish uh, Mugi and to actually take the, the round. But wait, it's not over till it's over and wow! Good stuff from Achan. If he wins this one, the bracket will be reset. Wow! Courageous Twitch has start of the round. Ooh! Ooh! That was not the correct time to, to try to backdash Mugi, unfortunately for you. And here we go with the ah the corner pressure, bro. It's real. It's crazy. Get a damage. Good lord, when is it ever? When does it stop? And here we go. The bracket has been reset. Of course it has. Of course I wouldn't have it any other way, would I? Good stuff though. But I love. I've got to admit, uh, Achan's Vedman is a freaking treat. It's a treat to watch him play. Really not gonna lie. Anyway, there we go with Achan in the corner, positioning, forcing Mugi to pop the burst. That being said, ah, Mugi did find an angle. Oh lord, that close as well. Nice combos right there from Mugi. Not enough to kill though. <laughs> Who am I fooling? Good stuff. Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the kill regardless. And here we go with the corner pressure. Good stuff from Achan. Ooh. And Achan bringing it back with the overdraft. With the perfect, nevertheless. Always the perfect. Well, let's see how this spins out. Ooh. Nice trade in favor of Achan, though. But Mugi found his footing. Goes for the safe jump. Oh, good Centire, though. Oh no, no you cannot. Ah, nice backdash. I think it's not gonna hit. It did. Okay, nice stuff from Mugi. Uh, from uh, from Mugi. Ah, Mugi uh, backdashing one too many times, and I think that yeah, Achan is starting to pick up on it. Ah, Lord, look at this. The pressure though. The verge. What's gonna happen? Ah, no, he should have won with a 6P. Would have won right there. Nice bar from Achan and takes the lead. Good lord. Ah, by the way, it's, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, it's been reset, yeah. So, 1 to 0 for Achan currently taking the lead after, after surviving all of the loser's bracket, man. Achan is on freaking fire right now. Nice to HS. Catches a backdash. A Mugi twice. Goes for the Wild Assault to go through the uh, Beyblade attempt. And it's bomb time. Nice uh, bar, nice uh, standing P right there from Mugi. And here we go with the corner pressure. That brave standing is though. And uh, a jump going for the pressure. Poor Mugi does not know what to do. I can sense a YRC sooner rather than later. Good lord. Ah! 
Moogie finding the opportunity gets the corn the, the side swap. Ooh! No, you didn't. No! No punish here! But still gets the kill with the projectile. Four chip damage and chip kill. Ooh, big wildness all counter it right there. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, nice back dash though. Ooh, ooh. There we go, the safe jump on. Achan reading the grab attempt. Ah, yeah, this is gonna hit. Good stuff from Moogie. You're gonna get the full animation. Good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, Lord. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay, not, not over till it's over, though. Just for the wild assault. Yeah, Atian wants you to, to press a button. He wants you to press a button. Oh, and Moogie getting hit by the bomb. Atian. Atian, man. Good lord. One more match is all that is required for Atian to actually take the Brojo Cup number 97. With Bedman, nevertheless. That would be freaking crazy. Okay, let's see if Moogie is going to allow it to happen or if Moogie is going to say hell no. Let's see, let's see. Damn. Oh, good lord. Achan. Ah, Achan, yeah, that was a perfect bow. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's see how it happens. Yeah, Moogie is definitely no slouch. Nice call out right there from Achan, punishing the wild assault correctly. Achan definitely noticing that Moogie has a tendency to back dash in the in the corner one too many times or even like generally speaking ah too late on the 6p resulted resulting on the counter hit unfortunately for Mugi. and here we go with the corner pressure wow big corner pressure good lord look at this one are you supposed to do anything good lord Mugi. But they, they, Mugi has been blocking for the past 10 days. Good lord. She, what was that? That was sick. That was sick. And just like this, Achan is on tournament point. Tournament point for Achan. Let's see how this pans out. Is Mugi gonna let it happen? We shall see. Big wild assault. Oh! Closest to catch the back dash though. Nice back dash though, but yeah, still got hit by Moogie. Ah, but the call out though from Achan. Ah, Achan you, Achan you, Achan you. Goes for the full punish. And the safe jump. Ooh, this is looking pretty bad. Okay, not over till it's over though. Ah, oh, Lord. There we go with the corner pressure, man. Ah! Ah! And Achan! Achan just made it! He reset the bracket to become the Brojo Cup number.